guys, and this might be uploaded this week, so it'll be like two videos in one week, or it just might be uploaded later because I'm lazy. But I saw a couple requests um, to do the what's in my purse tag, so I thought, you know what, why not? So today I'm going to be showing you what's in my purse with um, sporadic hand claps. So my purse is this vintage Wawa handbag, um, one of a kind. It's very, very old and I just love the detail on this. Um, it was somewhere between four to five thousand dollars. So uh, it's not really for sale unless you know you got some high bidders up in here. But it's just so vintage and unique and I just love it and I love the sound that it makes when I like swish it so obviously it is empty right now because I mean I have to show you it first huh but so um let's just get to me taking the stuff out of my purse so the first thing that I normally keep in my purse is this master lock and it's unopened because thank god I haven't um, had to use it yet but this Master Lock um, Tough Under Fire um, All Number Blue Lock. And I love keeping it in my purse just in case um, one of my, of my prisoners in the basement escapes and like undoes their lock. No. Well, then I can like have it like on hand just in case I need it to uh, lock them back up. So it's really handy to have in those like silly like moments. So, I suggest getting one of these. Alright, and my personal favorite thing in my purse is my guinea pig. And yes, she is taken care of. Thank you very much. People that are commenting those hate comments on my, um, what's, uh, whatever it was, furry friend tag. I feed her once every three months, okay? She is getting treated very well. So you need to stop. Okay? See how well she's fed? Once every three months. I doubt even you get that kind of food. The next thing I will be unpursing is this um, way too small for me, um, extremely ugly um, 80s headband that um, my grandma found in the street. And I love carrying this around just on bad hair days, you know? Um, I don't even wear it like a, like a normal, of course I wear it like a normal headband. I mean, it's adorable. So what you do is you just take this, this really, um, ugly, too tight headband, and you know what you do with it? You put it in the back of your head, and you just push all of the hair forward. See this poof? Look, I feel like a, I feel like a little cheerleader. See how much, like, volume it's creating? This works wonders. And the cutest thing I will be taking out of my purse today is this one single toe sock. That's it. Just just one toe sock. You don't need two. You only need one. And that is because if you're ever, like, in, like, some kind of trouble, like you're getting mugged or any of that, you just take the toe sock. Okay. And mine has a snowman on it. So you take the toe sock. You put it on your hand, it's okay if you only get like little nubs, so you take it on your hand, you scratch it around while singing Frosty the Snowman, or if you have a reindeer, you sing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So if you're ever getting mugged, you just go, Frosty the Snowman! I'm sorry, I, I have to end this video, I'm taking this way too far, this needs to come to an end before I end up pulling my own tongue out of the purse. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, hit that button below if you want to subscribe to my channel. They're probably, the, all the videos coming up are probably going to be this absolutely unwanted and ridiculous. So, uh, yeah. Uh, bye guys. Love you.